Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up one very interesting radical equation and I will be solving in three ways. So let me write here method number one. And here I will begin with the standard exponential property a power b whole power c. Anytime we can write a power c whole power b, which I will apply here. So I will be writing our equation as 4 minus square root x whole cube equal to 28 minus root x whole cube. Now you can see root x is here, root x is here. So let us assume root x is equal to a. So we can write our equation 4 minus a whole cube equal to 28 minus a cube. Now I will add a cube to both sides. So I will be writing a cube plus 4 minus a whole cube. It will be equal to 28. Now I will use a cube plus b cube identity. So let me write that formula first. a cube plus b cube. It will be equal to a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab. And once I will apply here, I will be writing our LHS as a plus b. So a plus 4 minus a. Minus a plus a we will cancel. In other bracket, a square. So a square plus 4 minus a whole square minus a times 4 minus a. And RHS will be 28. So we will write finally 4 times in bracket a square plus 4 minus a whole square minus a times 4 minus a equal to 28. Let's solve. I will write 4 times a square plus 4 minus a whole square minus a times 4 minus a equal to 28. Divide both sides by 4. So I can cancel. Now I will write 7 here, 1 here. So it will become a square plus. Let's expand 4 minus a whole square. So I will be writing 16 plus a square minus 80. Here I will write minus 4a plus a square. Right hand side is 7. So a square, a square, a square, 3a square. Minus 8a minus 4a minus 12a. 16 is the only constant. Right hand side 7. So plus 9 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 3. a square minus 4a plus 3 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. Let's solve using factorization this time. So I will split minus 4a as minus a minus 3a plus 3 equal to 0. a is common from first two. So a minus 1 will be in the bracket. Minus 3 is common from last two. Again we will get the same bracket a minus 1. Factorization is done. a minus 1 times a minus 3 equal to 0. Conclusion will be a equal to 1 or a equal to 3. a was our substitution. a was root x. So I will write root x equal to 1 comma 3. So x will be the squaring of 1. It will give us 1. 3 square is 9. So our solution for the given radical equation, it will be 1 and 9. This was method 1. Let's see method 2. Method 2 I will consider. Let me write equation once. So 4 minus a whole cube equal to 28 minus a cube where a was root x. Now I will use algebraic manipulation. 28 we can think about 64 minus 36. Let me write 4 minus a cube equal to 64 minus 36 is 28. 
then minus a cube. Now I can write 4 minus a whole cube equal to 64 minus a cube and then minus 36. Now I can write this is 4 cube minus a cube minus 36. Left hand side is 1 clue 4 minus a whole cube. Once I will apply a cube minus b cube identity here, I will be getting 4 minus a as one bracket. So let us apply 4 minus a whole cube equal to 4 minus a in one bracket. And in other bracket, it will be 4a square plus a square plus 4a. And then we will write minus 36. So I can write here or take 36 to the LHS. So I will write 36 here and take all the remaining terms to RHS. So 4 minus a. 4 square is 16. a square plus 4a. And then I will write minus 4 minus a whole cube. Now you can see 4 minus a is common. So I can write 36 is equal to 4 minus a, I will take common. In bracket, it will be a square plus 4a plus 16 minus 4 minus a whole a square. So I will be writing 4 minus a. In this bracket, I will be writing a square plus 4a plus 16. And then 4 minus a whole a square formula. So I will be writing minus a square minus 16 and then plus 8a and left hand side is 36 so i can write 36 is equal to 4 minus a and after this bracket we'll have a square a square will cancel 4a plus 8a so 12a and 16 plus and minus will be over so what is left it is 12a only so it is 12a times 4 minus a equal to 36. Let me write here. 12a times 4 minus a equal to 36. Divide both sides by 12. So we will write here 3. And this 12 will be over. So a times 4 minus a, it will be equal to 3. So I will write minus a square plus 4a equal to 3. Take all the terms to RHS. a square minus 4a plus 3 equal to 0. Now the same quadratic equation. We will use factorization method or quadratic formula. We will get factors as a minus 1, a minus 3 equal to 0. Conclusion will be 1 comma 3 a was our substitution, it will be 1 comma 3. After taking a square both sides, you will get answer as 1 and 9. We will cross check at last. Now method number 3. Method number 3, I will write our equation as, see it is root x whole cube plus 4 minus root x whole cube equal to 28. Now I will use substitution. So I will consider root x is equal to a and 4 minus root x is equal to b. So I can write after adding these two, I will be getting 4 equal to a plus b. Now from the original equation, I will be writing a cube plus b cube equal to 28. So we have finally two equations a plus b 4, a cube plus b cube 28. We have to solve. So I will use a cube plus b cube identity here. So I can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab equal to 28. Now a plus b is 4. So let's apply this value. 4 times a square plus b square minus ab 
equal to 28. So a square plus b square minus ab equal to 7. Dividing both sides by 4. Now I can use Again, identity a square plus b square, I can write a plus b whole a square minus 2ab and then we have minus ab equal to 7. So, we know the value of a plus b 4. So, let us apply. I will write here 4 a square minus 3ab equal to 7. So, I can write 16 minus 3ab equal to 7. So, I can write 3ab is equal to 16 minus 7. Let me write 3ab equal to 16 minus 7. So, 3ab will be equal to 9. So, I can divide by 3 both sides. We will get ab equal to 3. And a plus b was 4. So, you can consider one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. So, this equation will be sum of roots. This equation will be product of roots. So, we can frame one quadratic equation in a itself where we will write a square minus sum of roots which is 4 times a plus product of roots which is 3 equal to 0. Same equation. I will use factorization method. I will write factors as we did already a minus 3 equal to 0. So, a equal to 1, 3. a was our substitution. So, I will be writing 1, 3. After taking the square both sides, I will get x is equal to 1 and 9. Now, it is turn off verification. Let us verify both the solutions. So, I will write here verification. x is equal to 1. This is our equation. I will begin with LHS. So, I will write 4 minus root 1 whole cube. It will be equal to 28 minus root 1 cube. Is it true? So, 4 minus 1 whole cube equal to 28 minus 1 root cube is 1. So, root 1. So, this will give us 3 cube. Right hand side is 28 minus 1, 27 equal to 27. That means x is equal to 1 is true solution. Let us consider x equal to 9. So, let me write LHS. 4 minus root 9. So, let me write 3 straight away. Power will be 3 equal to 28 minus square root of 9 cube. So, I can write this is 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 cube. Right hand side 28 and root of 9 is 3. So, it will become 3 cube using exponent property. 1 equal to 28 minus 27. So, 1 equal to 1. That means 9 is also verified solution. And this brings the end of the video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.